sorry, man. You probably think I shouldn't even care, right? I mean, we broke up. Just, just move on. No. Maybe. I don't well, even know why I feel like this. I mean, I feel like she has taken a part of me with her. And all I am left with is just a void. I just, I just wish we could be friends. You know? Like we used to be. She's, she's probably just hurting as much as you are. I hope that's true. Thank you. Anytime. You know I'm always here for you. No, I mean thank you for trying. You know, after we broke up, you tried. And here you are a few years later sitting beside me. I just wanted that for Jada and I too, you know? Think of it, you're actually the only one. What do you mean? To still be friends. All my other exes just left me like Jada and decided it's better not to keep in contact. I don't even know where half of them even are. Well, you're a sweet guy now. And you're a really good friend. Well, that's why I stayed. Why do you think my other exes didn't? I think everyone has their own reasons. I can think of five. Five reasons. The monotonous. The metamorphosis. The misconception. The memory. And the mistake. Okay. The monotonous where the withering relationship becomes nothing but an echoing hollow. They become bored and disinterested as they find out everything that they need to know about the other and they realise, well, there isn't anything new or interesting left. They end up not just losing interest in the relationship, but the other person as well. What starts out as a mysterious and interesting person, it unveils itself as a solved case in time. And there's times where you couldn't wait to see each other. It's nothing but an afterthought. It started off as this new exciting journey. And it just ends. Becoming average, boring and dull. Where it's hard to start a conversation and near impossible to sustain it. Conversations, they end in okays and I don't knows. The metamorphosis, where time is just a factor for change, where new surroundings, new people, new interests, it all morphs into something that's just different and unfamiliar. What was a strong bond, a chemistry that once was almost magnetic, loses its strength and the bonds give way, deteriorating in time. Life goals, beliefs, values, dress sense, even their personality slowly turns. Until they wake up and realize the person they once fell in love with isn't there anymore. Together, they are a tight compound, separated by the chemical reaction of time. It's a cycle that's on a linear line where they evolve, and evolve, and evolve, where they can't even remember what they saw in them in the first place. Like the past was an illusion of the distant present. in time. The misconception. 
where a normal conversation can whip up into a storm, where physical contact strikes like lightning and words roar like thunder. This is probably the worst one. Because when they think of the other, all they can remember is the shouting and screaming, how they never listened, never understood and never cared for anyone but themselves. To them, understanding isn't a concept but merely a fantasy. Nothing could be resolved or put to rest. They could never find that middle ground they could both walk on. Their own mistakes, they fail to realise, fail to see where they went wrong in all the chaos. Nearly every day is a battle or a war, fighting for what they thought was right, instead of what was best. And at the end of it all, they're all too proud, too stubborn, too insensitive to even say the simple words of... I'm sorry. I was in the wrong. The memory. When the good times hurt the most. And most of the pain comes from remembering. Still having feelings for the other. It's too hard not to. Being disconnected is the only way they can carry on without being reminded of how they feel. Their mind is a locked vault and their broken heart is the key. That small spark where they still want to be with them. Knowing the rejection is just too much. Having to remind themselves that they don't want to be with you. It hurts. It hurts to remember the memories. And what hurts more? that they will never get that back. And number five, the mistake. I'm sure most people have been through the mistake, but some people simply like to leave the past in the past, wanting the chance to move on completely without their ex having any kind of hold over them. Sometimes it's inevitable to have the memories and the emotions of the past interfere with the present. Like a bad dream manifesting into reality, creating some sense of deja vu. It's all happening over again. Even if their feelings have changed, the present will always ask, why do you keep going back, back to the regret you just can't shake off. To avoid the flashbacks of what was, they lock away everything and throw away the key, leaving everything behind becoming a distant memory. Taking every moment they had and throwing it to the fire. Never having to worry about that one season never happened. I wonder which reason is Jada's. Well, what made it easier for us was that we were close friends for about three years before we dated. I think it all depends on how much you value each other as friends. And once you take away the association of romance and intimacy is there enough friendship to hold on to and i know it's not going to make you feel any better but i guess she just didn't think she was 
gonna make a good enough friend or a friend that you deserve yeah maybe I valued you more as a friend than I ever did an ex-boyfriend yeah well I valued her more than as a friend too so she asked me out and now a part of me is taken with her it's not a part of you that she's taken with her it's just a part where you allowed her in you just need to fill it with someone or something so you valued me as a friend What other reasons are there? Why do couples stay friends after they break up? I can think of five. Five reasons.